In this video, we will learn how to set up project with Terraform on GCP. So before we start, let me briefly show you the steps that we are going to go through. So as you can see, so first we are going to create a service account and then we will generate the service account key and then we will configure Terraform like we create a Terraform configuration file. Then we will write a Terraform configuration and finally we can initialize and apply. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. So let me go to first to my Google Cloud console and then here we need to create a service account. So for that basically you have to go to navigation menu and there is a IAM and admin, identity and access management. So here we need to go to service accounts. So as you remember the first step is to create a service account. Here we can click on create a service account and basically we can name this service account let's say GCP with Terraform GCP with Terraform next we can click on create and continue and here we can provide the role but we will do it later while we are starting the project for project setup we don't need to provide any role let's click on continue and click on done so here as you can see the GCP with Terraform we have just uh, created as you can see it shows that we don't have any case now so the next step is to create a case so for that basically you can go to this which is GCP with Terraform and here you can see on the right there is a permissions case metrics and logs so let's click on case and here we want to click on add key and create a new key there are two types of case you can either create JSON or P12 so basically we are going to create a recommended JSON click on create and it will automatically download to your local machine so we can close and I'm going to go to my downloaded folders go and here you can see we have a Stary strand my project ID and the, the, the last one is JSON as you can see the, fi the file name is JSON so I'm going to change it new case.json because I have already got a case.json that I have done in my previous project so we have a new case.json so you can rename it like case.json so after we done with new case.json we can now go to visual studio code so I'm going to open the visual studio code and here we need to open a new folder let me open a new folder on my local machine let's say let me rename this folder okay so let me say terraform with gcp and here i'm going to paste inside the visual studio code yes i trust the elders so now i want to basically create a terraform file which is main.tf but you can name it any name like the, the for example any custom name that you want but i'm going to give it main.tf so here we need to provide the google cloud provider or you can also if you are working with aws or azure you can provide the, the these apis okay so now i'm going to go to google and here i want to type terraform registry and here i want to go to terraform registry and if you go to below you can see there's featured providers so whatever you are working with google cloud gcp or the aws or azure so you can go and click on these specific providers and here there is a section which is use provider so you can click on that and copy the provider okay so let's go back to my visual studio code and here i'm going to provide this google provider so inside this provider google we need to provide the 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 project first and it's a to one of the most important arguments that you have to provide so you can go to google cloud Google Cloud Console and here let's click on my first project and here you need to provide the project ID 
So do not take my project ID, just take your own project ID. And then let's go to Visual Studio Code. And here I'm going to provide my project ID. Make sure there is no any spaces. Next, we need to provide the region if you want. So let's say US Central, US Central 1. Next, we need to provide the credentials. The, the JSON file that we have downloaded earlier earlier. So let me go to my finder downloads and here I have a new case.json that I have downloaded. So here as you can see I paste it inside my Terraform with GCP folder. Now inside my provider Google I want to just uh, provide the name which is new case.json new case.json so that's pretty much about it so we are pretty done so now i have i can go and provide the resource blocks for example i can create a google cloud storage or create a virtual machine networks databases whatever so we are done with the the project setup this is how you can do the project setup with terraform on gcp so if you have any questions you can freely right in the comment section so i will reply to it as soon as possible thank you very much and i will see you in the next videos